Good morning on what is a mild, slightly overcast day. Uh, I'm back in the reading nook, of course, with a nice hot cup of tea, biscuit tea today, um, with a bundle of parcels. I've already done this small thing. So next, uh, I am going to do um, this. Okay, now, um, I do know what this is because uh, it came off eBay. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to say to you, okay, if you uh, have a look at this, have a look at the shape, and the very first thing you're going to think of, that this is an album, as in an LP, long playing record. Um, and I'm going to tell you, you are entirely right and entirely wrong at the same time. And you have to be of a certain age to know, to really remember what I'm going to be showing you. Um, because... Uh, this is still gaming related um, so basically it's very well wrapped so I'm gonna have to take a bit of time to get it into this there we go Just slide the knife down there okay. and on the other side let's just try And then I can get. Let's say very well packaged. This is um, so it is uh, taking a bit more effort than. Uh, oh. there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Okay. Taking a bit longer than I anticipated. Um, quite tightly wedged in here. This could even take any longer, I think. But... E gods, this is. Um... Yeah, in other words, I'm fighting to get this there. open. And, right. More packaging. Told you it was really well packaged. Let's see if I can find my way into this. Oh my heat! This is it's been. I mean, the thing is, it's sort of like okay, right? It's really well packaged, but. Um, if you're doing an unboxing video, it's really annoying um, because you want to know what's in here. I can't show you what's in here um, because I'm fighting with the packaging. I'm just trying to find my way in. Um, I'm basically, we're torn to literally sorting to tearing off. There we go. And finally, 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 I am somewhere near getting to show you what this is. Um, it's a bit worn, and there's even more packaging on it um, than uh, I imagine. But here we go, here it comes. Now, Okay, let's see if there's anything else in here. No, there isn't. Good. So, um, right. So, uh, uh, finally, after all that, what I'm going to show you is Dallas, a game of the Eve Ewing family, um, and it says here, album. Okay, not a phonograph record. Uh, okay, say okay. So a not a phonograph um, record album. There we go. Game only. What's interesting about this is um, uh, Dallas was a huge, um, basically soap opera, soap opera in the late seventies and early eighties, and of course you had licensing and a couple of the odder licenses. Um, is that you will note that I have already opened the um, 
uh, Dallas role playing game published by SBI uh, 1980, and that would have been the very first licensed role playing game. I've done a, I've done a, an unboxing of it. I have done a, uh, a review of it, and it is both interesting and probably terrible. Um, this though is a board game. Uh, so what we've got here. Basic full explanation of what's oh, the game and the game um, map on the inside. So just basically back up so you can see all of that. So it's like a, a typical game. Now, why would I be also be interested in, in, in this? Now, um, it's primarily because of the format and the publisher. Now, the, the publisher is Yukinto Publications, who did a couple of role playing games themselves. Um, Man, Myth, and Magic is the most notable one, Time Ship. Uh, and then Pirates and Plunder, I believe, is theirs, is their pirate role-playing game. So they did three role-playing games, but they mostly specialised in board games. They did traditional board games in boxes uh, like Armour 88 and lots of other, primarily war games. Um, so World War II, um, Napoleonics, um, Napoleonics, and uh, Americans of War. So lots of battle games that are quite um, are, are held, uh, basically are held in uh, quite high regard today and uh, fairly collectible. Now the other thing they did was the album game. That is a game designed to fit into the same format as a long playing record, or as they call it, a a phonographic record album, essentially into this format. And I had a couple of them. And my and these would have been about sort of like in, uh, early 80s. And the first one for me would have been Attack of the Mutants, uh, which is a great, f fantastic, basically, um, game where one player has a horde of mutants attacking a laboratory, and the other player has uh, essentially the, st the last staff of the, of the laboratory, um, essentially, Professor, her daughter, and her friends, and lab assistants, that sort of thing, and some mechanical robots, and, and some. Um, basically some blockades and you've just got a map of a giant map of this laboratory complex and the hordes are just trying to get in and um, every time they get into a room and face an enemy there's a battle and and so on and it's a race against time to for uh, the, the survivors um, to activate a portal and to escape uh, before everything goes basically um, uh, basically belly up as it were um, and so there must have been probably there's probably about to guess 10 or 15 of these album games dealing with things like um, so there was battle battle was a very basic role-playing game which did um, essentially multiple different eras it was very basic but it was very nicely produced thick cardboard pieces hills trees and so on and then uh, they did a, a NATO one uh, basically war in Europe uh, how the West was one sort of thing. Uh, there's a Starship Racing one, a, a Dungeon one, uh, basically Mongol Horde. There's a science fiction brawl one, so basically the fantasy one was sort of like a dungeon, and there was like a brawl as well. Uh, tavern brawl, classic kind of fantasy sort of setup. And then they did the same kind of thing for a science fiction setting, uh, stocks and shares. Uh, and so, as much as anything, essentially, these board games sort of like really sort of date back to my entry into the hobby, um, and um, the format is really interesting because it was innovative, innovative, and clever. And what typically what you've got was you have where they have the sleeves, what they use the slit, the inserts for, basically the, the way you would put the sleeve is the content is is, is the rules and the pieces. Now, I don't. Um, uh, what I've got here um, is uh, oh God, um, okay. It's the rules of play. So not very long. Um, I haven't got any counters, or anything. I think so. I've, I've really not not got. I've not bought something which I really wanted any um, anything else. Essentially, so uh, this is from July 1980. Um, so we have a full. Um, essentially uh, um, basic catalogue of um, what Yakinto was releasing back then. And this is really fascinating. Um, so you've got some of those games I mentioned like Armour and then Ironclad, so I shouldn't think people were 
uh, was one of the games that they were really uh, renowned for, I seem to recall. And we go over, so sorry, there's, there's 88. Um, and then things like um, Battle, uh, which was the board game I mentioned, which I did buy, but wasn't particularly good. Um, right, uh, so various different things. Um, and then uh, on the back we have um, album games and we have Squash Butler, uh, which is what you can imagine essentially, um, at, uh, um, based on the movies of you know pirates, musketeers, pieces of eight, that kind of thing. Uh, Beachhead uh, is a World War Two, um, basically storming the beaches in the Pacific. We have um, fast attack boats. Which basically covers the Arab Israeli naval war of 1973, and then the basically the fantasy one, um, to Hero, there. And down below, what we've got is uh, the album, um, just show that is the album games format. There we go, just see that. And what it says there is each album game contains a colourful map mounted on the inside of the record jacket. A uh, sheet of sturdy coloured. Uh, die count counters, two plastic ziplock bags contain, uh, designed to assure flat storage and counters and easy to use rules and play aids. Pieces and rules are stored in the two pockets of the album and the entire game is, is packaged in a, um, basically in a format which is less than an inch thick. Um, now the other option for these type of games for, for basically would have done in a plastic, the SBI just did them in a plastic tray which would have been about the same, um, same, same kind of depth. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, um, it, uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, just to look, see what it says on the back. Um, the track is fast and the stakes are high to jock for, jock for position, power and money and the exciting struggle for control of the Ewing Empire. Each move you make can bring you vast wealth or ruin someone at someone else. You are one of the Ewings and this is TV's Dallas, a game of the Ewing family. Um, uh, basically, ages 12 to an adult, the excitement of a race, the suspense of power plays, the thrill of high finance, the drama of family crisis, number of players, two to seven, game length, three, half an hour to three hours. Um, a nervous sil silence fills the boardroom as the Ewing family prepares to elect the next president of their financial empire. Jock, the current president, knowing of the plot to oust him, offers a hopeful glance at Sue Ellen, who sits anxiously counting and recounting the promises she has accumulated. JR, catching the glance, cast a merciless eye first at Jock and then at Pamela as he thumbs through the blackmail information he has accumulated against Bobby, uh, his younger brother. Miss Ellie, calmly watching the actions of her family, smiles knowingly as Pamela slides the documents that can incriminate JR just, just as voting is about to begin. All eyes shift to Lucy. She only has a few votes, but the balance of power office of the powerful office sits in her hand, rests in her hands. TV's Dallas is a fast and Paced an exciting game where players seek victory through the office of the Ewing Empire's presidency using cunning, bribery, blackmail, good old fashioned wheeling and dealing, and players attempt to control as many votes as possible at the stockholders' meetings. Between the meetings, players travel across the board buying stocks, acquiring proxy votes, and stalking the other players in an attempt to cause them to lose valuable time in the race for power. Uh, TV's Dallas is a game where each player attempts to bully and bribe his or her way to the eventual control of the Ewing Empire. Uh, a game where you have to make deals to gain power and break them to keep it. Components, uh, playing board, metal on the inside of the album cover, thick colourful die cut, playing pieces, play money, play stocks, set tickets, a deck of 70 playing cards, sit lock bags for community storage, and different pizza for players. Sadly, I, I basically, um, I probably, I, I've got the rules, I don't have any of the components, and it's a bit of a lemon in that case with my purchase, I will admit. Um, buyer beware, of course. Um, and I may have to check the eBay listing again. Um, but it was a good price um, if it had been complete. So that's Dallas, a game of the UN Company. Um, I would absolutely be fascinated to play this. Um, I'm sure it's very playable. Uh, I'm sure it's fun. Um, and it's probably far more playable and uh, interesting than the role-playing game. Um, and probably has better scope for the uh, for actually bringing sort of like tabletop play, um, tabletop to the gameplay as well. So yeah, uh, that's Dallas, um, a game of the UN Company. Right, well, um, I hope you've enjoyed that unboxing of the, in the Nook. If you have, please click that like button down below. At, uh, and of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, thank you very much. I do appreciate you taking the time to post those, and I do read them. And lastly, um, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, uh, where you will see me with um, some parcels, um, 
and of course a nice hot cup of tea and perhaps 10 minutes of your time uh, with me basically talking um, as knowledgeable as I can for about uh, uh, um, for about 10 minutes or so uh, about the, the game I've just unboxed then please do hit that subscribe button in the meantime thanks once again for watching and I'll be back again soon with a with another unboxing in the look bye for now